Okay, so this isn't the first time I have scripted, filmed and edited an entire video just to justify making a different one. An author of mine, whom I love and respect hugely, was talking on Twitter a little while ago about how much they object to book bloggers being paid for reviews. I hastily swept thumbs across keypad, riled and raring to launch myself into impassioned debate, but I gave up quite quickly, as at the time I was meant to be waddling round Uxbridge city centre, not furiously mistyping onto my phone. Not to mention I've generally not found 140 characters to be my absolute preferred medium. But I did think on this issue long and hard that day. Not least because I knew I wanted, for some far future project, to create videos for money. This video is here for you now because the next one coming up on this channel in a few days time is one I'm being paid to make. So this is my argument for doing so. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below at the end. I think the strongest argument against paid content is it biases the creator's opinion. The thing is, book bloggers and booktubers, their opinions are already biased to a certain extent. No one lives in a vacuum. Bloggers might not get hard currency delivered to them most of the time, but money is there behind the scenes, making a huge difference as to whether a book gets talked about and gets reviews. I've seen both sides of this system and I know that bloggers and vloggers are much more likely to review a book that they get for free, that has the postage paid on sending it to them. They're the books that have marketing spends behind them, that have beautiful proofs made and adverts on the tube and exciting fantastic launch parties. On a very basic level, if a book's publisher pays for a publicist to work on it and tell people it exists, this can be the difference between a book being highly anticipated or published quietly into obscurity. I mean there's a certain extent to which I have to say that because I'm a publicist and if no one paid me I'd feel very sad, but I do believe it's true. So I think we need to complicate the binary of paid for and not paid for content. Not paid for can still have huge amounts of money behind it or can offer some other sort of incentive to the media outlet covering it. Whether that be in the kind of content they're giving them to run for free or the experiences surrounding it or just building relationships. I honestly believe we need to identify as false and discard the idea of natural book discovery. The idea that there are any people or media outlets out there that can conscientiously consider and choose the books they're going to cover from every book that's ever been published. Because it's often not an issue of saying good things when you would have said bad things. It's the selection of just three items to say good things about from the hundreds you could have chosen from. So is all content a booktuber or book blogger presents really paid for content? Does that mean you can't trust anything I recommend to you or anything I say to you at all? Being paid money to make something doesn't mean you have to stand in front of your camera and lie to your viewers. It doesn't mean you have to stand there and tell them a book was great when secretly you actually only read the first 40 pages and you spent most of that time really longing to pulp the thing in a high intensity blender. See the problem I have with my channel, as you might have noticed over the years, is that I don't have enough time or enough energy to make all the videos I would love to make. See here? These are scripts and scripts and scripts of things I've really wanted to make going back years. And these are just the few that have managed to get out of my notebook or even out of my head. So with this upcoming video, I was offered money to make it. I was offered money to make a video about an author whom I'd already read and whom I already knew I adored. In fact, the original email suggesting it instantly brought to mind a topic that I'd been really wanting to make a video on for quite a while. See, if I get paid to do this, it means I actually do it rather than just saying I will for the next six months. Like I said before, I've already read this author. I loved their debut novel. Did I make a video on it? No. I didn't have time. Being paid to make a video can very simply mean that I have more time to make videos in general. Because to make sure I don't drown in an endless deluge of debt, I do freelance work of all sorts. If I can get paid to make videos, videos I can make fit in to what it is I already want to do rather than work that has no relation to this art I try to create, well all the better.
being an internet person who is paid to make content is broadly debated. I've seen it scorned a lot. Instagrammers who are paid to wear certain fashions, YouTubers who eat cereal. But I honestly don't see the difference between this and magazines running adverts or the commercials that play between favoured TV shows, as long as that paid material is clearly delineated as such. And having some form of income from it can be the difference between a channel or a website or whatever it is their creator being able to move to work on it full time. It can be better production values or twice the time invested in it. It can be a domain name paid for or your monthly data covered and that thing you create being financially viable at all. So I'm gonna get paid to make something, but I promise that I will always highlight when I'm being paid and regardless of being paid, I will never recommend something that I don't truly like myself. And occasionally getting money from this, hopefully it will mean I can do it a bit more often. I hope you accept my reasoning there as it stands and that you don't mind that my next video will be somewhat contributing to my financial stability. See you in my next video. Bye guys. This is called Letters to Open When and it basically encourages the person you give it to to write some letters to themselves. It includes letters such as open when you're looking for